work on the login page this is the vinyl version this is what we're trying to create from scratch okay so this is the square <laughs> this is from zero we're gonna go from here to here okay so i'm gonna have all sorts of info for verification sorry it's gonna be for the login also for the email all the other stuff for creates accounts we're gonna have all sorts of verification for the age for you know choosing a gender okay so it's gonna be very cool and it's gonna be also 100 percent responsive so when you go to the mobile view it's gonna be responsive this way and it change depending on the screen okay and it's going to be same way goes right here so this is like beautifully responsive as i said before okay so don't worry this is going to be it's going to be a bit of a challenge you know but we're going to get through it and we're going to make it happen okay so we're going to go back to right here so we're going to remove this so this is the login page so here we're going to have a class name and it's going to be login okay and inside this login we're going to have a wrapper for the login so or a container you can call it whatever you want okay and right here we're gonna have a log and right here we're gonna have a login wrap okay this is gonna be for the login and another div right here which is gonna be for the register okay so we're gonna work now on the login and inside this login we're gonna have a login one okay and also gonna have a login two. the login one div is gonna be for this one so we're gonna contain the image and the text and the login two is gonna contain this okay so the login one we're gonna go back to it and we're gonna have a set an image which is gonna be from the icons and it's gonna be Facebook dot SVG. Everything is included, the source code, everything is gonna be with the code. So if we went back to the public folder in the icons, we have this Facebook dot SVG, which is the one you see right here. Okay, so we're gonna also have a span and we're gonna have this text right here. Okay, so I'm just gonna copy it. I'm not bothering to write anything. Okay, so we're gonna copy it right here. Okay, and this is how it's going to look. Okay, and now we're gonna go to the login tool. And inside here we're gonna have a login to wrap login to wrap I, I always use this container because it's very important to give you more flexibility okay and inside here as you see right here we're gonna have a form so this is gonna be a form that has these two inputs and a button and this link and also this link or button whatever you want okay so you can use like the normal form okay but we're not gonna do this we're gonna work with form make and the app and form make is just a better way and more advanced way of using form so it's a package that's called form make and we're gonna use the app also too which is a, another package that's gonna help us verify the informations inside this form so instead of using this form we're gonna use form make okay so i simply we're gonna go to the front end and the console in pmi and we're gonna install form make and also yep okay this way so these two packages that we're going to need we're going to work with them so first of all right here now we're not going to have form which is going to have formic okay so for is going to be formic okay this way so this is the form that we have and we're going to import it get it right here so we're going to import it manually so it's going to import and we're going to have formic and it's going to be from formic okay and sorry this is going to be a string right here okay and now we get formic okay so formic and i write it wrong so this is the right way so inside this form now we're gonna initialize our form and the way we do it is simply we're gonna have like this and then we're gonna have formic and then we're gonna return what we want and right here we're gonna return a form which is gonna be from formic so now this is the way that we create our form and we're gonna also import the form right here okay so now we have our form right here so simply now you can let's go back right here to you see it so now inside this form we can just have another input okay like this okay and as you see you're gonna have the input so nothing changed so this is just a different way of initializing um, for initialization of a form using a formic and a form using a formic instead of form okay so this is simply you can have another anything right here you can have a button anything you want so we're gonna have two you know uh, inside this form we're gonna have two uh we're gonna have two inputs okay let me see what else we have okay this is not gonna we're gonna change those inputs we're gonna have them as components but later we're gonna control this so now we're gonna have a button which is the type of it is gonna be submit and inside this is gonna be log in okay and this is for the form after the form this is uh, everything that we need inside the form and after this form itself we're gonna go uh, let's go outside the formic okay so right here still inside the login to wrap and we're gonna have a link a link this is a link and we're gonna have two and it's gonna go to forgot okay so right here we're gonna have forgotten password 
okay so this one is what we're trying to create okay this one right here creating the three the input the inputs and the button now creating for guest password and this is going to be a link and link we're going to get it from the react router dump it's it's like a tag but it's different so let me import it first react Outer dam. When we click on this, this is what's uh, beautiful about it because this is when you use React or Next.js, this is like a single application, you know, project. So when you click on an e tag, it's refresh the pages, okay, and it changes the state. But when you use a link from React to Router dam, when we click on it, it doesn't change, you know, the page, does, the page doesn't refresh. It just takes you to the link that you want to go to, okay? Okay, so yeah, it's like um, uh, necessary to use in a single if you want to have the firm of a single application you know projects okay so this is why you use this link okay and after this we're gonna have this line right here which is gonna be a splitter so after this we're gonna have let's call it sign and we're gonna call it splitter so it's just gonna be a simply a line that we're gonna, gonna be a simply a line that we're gonna create using css and also let me see what else we have so we have this button right here okay so after the splitter we're gonna have a button and it's going to have a class name the first class name is going to be blue button and also we're going to have another class which is going to be open sign up okay and its button is going to be let me see it's going to be create account so create account so this is like for the html also we're going to need another thing which is going to be this one right here create a page for a celebrity brand or a business so we have right here so let's go and we're gonna go outside of this login to wrap because this is is gonna be outside of this okay so make sure that you go outside of it and we're gonna have another link okay another link and it's gonna be to you know the main page or whatever so right here we're gonna have a bold tag and we're gonna have a page okay and after this we're gonna have the sample text for a celebrity let me just copy it I'm not bothered to write anything as I said, so this is what it's gonna be right here, okay? So this is like the HTML markup, so let me this is gonna be two. Okay, and now as you see, this is the HTML markup. Now so now we're gonna work on the CSS to make this look the way we want. So right here we have the index and also we have the style.css where we're gonna write the styles. Also to remind you in the index.css, we have these variables that we're gonna call whenever we need in the CSS, which is gonna be a lot. So whenever we wanna call it, we're just gonna call a color from here, for example, okay? So first of all, we're gonna go to the top level and import the size. So import and then style.css. And then we're gonna open the style.css and here we're gonna write everything. So first of all, we're gonna have a login, wrapper, and then we can have a background. And the background is gonna be a variable. So we'll do var and then here we define or we call the variable by the name which is going to be pg secondary and as you see it's going to change right here and if we go back to the index this is the pg secondary and this is the color related to it so it's quite simple and easy to use okay and then we're going to go to the login wrap and then the height is going to be 78 vertical height and as you see it's going to take 78 you know percent eight you know percent from the fall uh, the full height of the screen okay so after this we're gonna have the margin not the margin we have a color so we're gonna define a color and it's gonna be also a variable which is gonna be color primary okay and that will define the color so it's not it's the same now but we're gonna use it because when the dark mode we're gonna change the primary color to the white so when it's dark mode you're gonna see it okay that's why we're using variables okay and also we're gonna go to the login one and then we're gonna have a width to be 300 pixels let me have done this wrong so like this and with 300 pixels and as you see now when i make it in the center so simply margin zero and then auto and then it's going to be on the center okay and after this we're going to uh, select the span which is this one that has the text so login one and then we're going to select the span inside it and here we're going to make the font size to be 20 pixels okay and then we're going to change it this way simply we're going to go to the login tool and we simply text align to make the text align on the center and we just add a dot right here and as you see it changed it to the center also now we're going to go to the login to wrap so login to wrap and right here we're going to have a lot of stuff okay so let me check the other screen so we have display flex and we're going to have the flex direction to be column 
to be column also the align items okay that's here the align item is going to be centered to make everything centered and the gap between the elements is going to be one rem so this here will be spaced out also the background is going to be a variable which is going to be bg primary which is white okay and it's going to change white as you see also the box shadow so we're going to define a box shadow and it's going to be zero then one pixel two pixels and then we're going to have a variable which is going to be shadow one okay you see it has this shadow and the shadow is defined right here okay with the rgbe so now after the box shadow let's see what else we have let me have we have a padding one ram okay so they give it space from inside and also we're going to have padding bottom to be two ram okay so also we're going to have a width to be 350 pixels okay and also we're going to make this on the center so before that we're going to make the height to be fit content so we're going to the, take the height of the elements okay and then margin zero and then auto to center it this way okay and then we'll have a border radius and it's going to be 10 pixels to change the sides okay and just make them round a little bit as you see right here and also we're going to have margin top to be one ram you can do like the margin and the padding in the same line but I do it this way you can do it like for example we have margin top and also have margin bottom the same have margin bottom the same so like we can just go margin and it's going to be one rem from the top and the bottom and from the right and left is going to be zero okay and we do this okay and this let me see if this is right this is right i don't know why it's not in the middle let's try let's try the other way so if we have margin top one rem and then margin bottom one arm okay that would create a problem because probably we have an other margin okay yeah because we have a margin right here okay to be zero right here and also uh, we have also so if you want to use this you just simply have to remove this and go back here and just have one rem okay so the margin is going to be one rem from top and bottom and the auto is going to be make it centered from the right and left and now we're going to have the same thing so when i write when i wrote the first time i didn't notice because you know there are a lot of css so you might not notice that but that's probably just normal you know while you're coding so don't worry about it now we're going to go and select the button inside this so login to wrap and then we're going to select the button and inside this let's see the button is going to be with 100 percent also justify content center i'm gonna have this for later also gonna have the height to be 50 pixels okay let me see what else font size is going to be 70 pix 17 pixels and the font width is going to be 700 and also the user select to be none user select just doesn't allow you to select like this okay so you can use it in the whole like login to wrap okay so now you can't select okay and I think this is good okay so after this uh, let me see what else we have okay so we have like a blue button that we defined before like this let's see right here we have this blue button where is it so I don't know what is it <laughs> so this is like blue button right here okay so this is uh, I have we have another one I think so let me search for it we only have one okay this button also that have type submit let's add a class name which is going to be a blue button okay and also right here this link have a class name which is going to be sign extra for example okay so now we can control this blue button and this is going to be a, a public variable for the buttons so we can go right here and when we have let's call this buttons we're going to have many of them you know just presets for the buttons that's going to be used across all the application and it's going to be used repeatedly okay so we're going to have them right here so dot blue button and right here let's define this so the border is going to be none okay we don't want no border as you see it's been removed also we want no outline so outline to be none okay so now we're going to have a padding 8.5 pixels that's going to be from top and bottom and square from bottom and square pixels from right and left okay this way and then we're going to have a border radius 7 pixels okay let me see what else font family 
to be inherited. So we take the parent font family, and as you see, it's gonna change. One thing also, if you're bored with the CSS, you can just copy them from the the thing for the the attachments of the course. If I know it's boring, but I gotta go through it and explain some things. Okay, so the font width is gonna be 600. The font size is gonna be let's see 14 pixels. And also we're gonna have the color to be white. Like this, we're not gonna use variable for this, okay? And then display flex. And also we're gonna have align item center to center everything and we use justify center and align item center to make sure that everything inside this is in the bottom, uh, in the center exactly, okay? And then we're gonna have a gap of six pixels. It's not important for this, you know, example, but it's gonna be when we. But it's gonna be when we have two elements inside the div, and the cursor is gonna be point. Okay. One last thing that we need is the background. We can have it like right here, and it's gonna be var, and it's gonna be you can define like blue. We have it uh, up uh, in the variables, so blue color. We have it right here. Where is it? This is the blue color, and as you see now, we have this. Okay, and it's gonna we're gonna change it, but for now this is what we have. Okay, we're gonna go back now to the style.css and let's continue. So let's work on the forget password first. So not forget password, and right here we're gonna have the color to be a variable which is gonna be the blue color. Okay, so blue color, and it's gonna change. Forget it didn't change, so this is probably doesn't have the class name otherwise class name. Uh, so this is <laughs> a class name is gonna be for God's password, okay? And then now it's been applicable. And after the color, also want the font size to be 14 pixels. And also gonna have the cursor to be pointer. And now when we hover on it, we wanna have a line, uh, a line, you know, in the bottom. So the underline. So we're gonna do this text decoration. So this is on the hover stage when we hover on it. So the text decoration is gonna be underline, okay? And we have the underline as you see right here, okay? So we have this uh, right here, we have this splitter as you see right here. This is a splitter as you see, we're gonna create it with the CSS. This is the diff for it, where is it? The size splitter. We're gonna take that and now let's side it. So it's gonna be a width of 100%. So it's gonna take the whole width of the elements parent. So and then the height is just gonna be one pixel. And as you see, we're gonna define the background, which is gonna be. Let me see right here, it's gonna be var and then it's gonna be bg third. Okay, and as you see right here, we have it. And this button right here, we add another class to it, which is one was open sign up. Okay, so now we're gonna change the background and it's gonna be green. Okay, so it's gonna be green color, I believe. Okay, and now it's changed to more of what we have in the final version. Okay, so let's. Uh, do other things so we want it we don't want it to take the full width so it's gonna be width 70% okay and if it didn't change you just can add importance okay because this div has another class which is was the blue button and as you see the blue button has the width of 100% I think where is it or by default we have we define the button right here okay we define the buttons to be 100% okay so we gotta change that by using the import and that means it's gonna take this style over the other one right here okay so let me see what else we have the font weight is gonna be 600 and also add importance okay to change okay to change and also we're gonna have let me see what else the font size which is gonna be 17 pixels and if we change, that's all right. If it didn't, add importance to it, okay? To make sure. And then we have the margin tab, which is gonna be one rem, okay? And as you see, it gives us this space. And also we're gonna work on this. So this is the extra, we call this what? Extra something. Sign extra, okay? And this sign extra, just the font size to be, let's see, 15 pixels, okay? And now we have it okay we're gonna work after this is now done as you see it's the same one right here now we're gonna work on those and as i said this is gonna be components so that's why it's gonna be a lot of css for them so now we finish 